Okay, so the next step here is uh, we're getting, setting our uh, pushrod length, which means we need to get proper preload on this rocker here. Uh, from past experience, I know it's going to be roughly uh, 7 inch, 450 thousandths, 425 thousandths. So I'm going to set it at uh, 7,450 right now, and uh, we'll see where we're at. Get it in there. Um, I already have the uh, cylinder at the valve closed, so we're just going to run that down. And uh, to check your preload here, what you're doing is you want to get this run down to zero lash. So how I do that is you can get a little bit of movement. You just want to rock this rocker up and down until you can no longer move it up and down. And then you can come in here, and if you can't move that push rod, spin it too easily, that means you're at zero lash right there. So from that point, you take your torque wrench, and we're looking for about maybe 90 to 100 thousandths preload on this particular lifter. So we're going to come around, it's a half turn, so 23, or 22 foot pounds we're trying to get it to, and uh, that was about half and maybe an eighth of a turn. So we want a little bit more of a pushrod length. So Summit sells these, they're adjustable pushrod lengths. Um, they allow you, each revolution that you do on the pushrod here is 50 thousandths extra length. Six, seven hundred thousandths. So that's, so that's a seven inch, five hundred thousandths pushrod length is what we're going for. So if we grab a 7500, which we don't have here, I'll go get a set. Um, then we'll check with the actual push rod that we'll be using on several locations of the uh, engine to get our true length. OK, so now that I think we have the uh, correct push rod in here, we're just going to double check it, make sure everything's right. And we'll check it on all the corners. So we'll put it back in. Rocking it until it locks up. Right there. I'll start from here. 22 foot pounds, so we'll go half turn. One turn. Just under one and a half, so that'll give us, yeah, it's about 95, 100 thousandths preload. That's that's right where we want it. So what I'll do is we'll check it on this back one over here. That's about exactly right where that one was before. So yeah, we're at about I saw it called one and three eighths of a turn. 